Marketplace readiness program is actually a program where we prepare people to be relevant in the workplace and also if they choose to start their own business to be outstanding entrepreneurs. It's a five month program once every week and then it goes to a whole lot of models like business planning, uh, business writing, uh, business presentation, and we do things like marketing and emotional intelligence. Achieve, but you test the waters. If it's not working, you pull back and then test it again and then see whether it's working. We tested it and it looks as if it wasn't going to work. So I decided to pull back, but someone didn't allow me to pull back, apart from the fact that my staff also didn't allow me, but somebody didn't allow me and an organization did not allow me because it came to the office and said, you know what, this thing is already in our, in our books. We're looking forward to it. And then we sat down at the meeting to walk things through. I'm talking about Shola and Musa, and Musa, and then he, 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 he made sure that this worked. And not just him, also Microsoft that he also works with, or works for, also make sure that this um, um, indebted to you and to, no sorry, to Microsoft and to you uh, for, for keeping this dream going. And let me also say this, that what we see now, you know, you mentioned Microsoft, you mentioned all those things, all those um, supporters that we have, I'll mention them. You look at it that, okay, they, they, they made it happen, but it's a result of a lot of seed that has been sown in time past. I remember the first time I met Shola was in Futa, and then didn't know that it was going to end up in Microsoft, but somehow, somehow, it was very micro hard then. <laughs> and then, you know what, we got to this point. What am I trying to say? The seed that you sow today, you may not know how it will meet you in, the, in your future, but just keep sowing it. Just keep sowing it. The interest of the NYC in Marketplace Readiness Program is essentially to um, bridge a gap uh, bridge a gap uh, between um, um, in trying to get our core members trying to get our core members to be better skilled to be wealth creators and also to become more employable as the National Youth Service Corps we hope to see uh, our youths being transformed from um, job seekers to become uh, job creators and uh, uh, more impactful wherever they find themselves after the service year. But now you are being guided. You are being guided from the very beginning. There's no way that you will finish the service here being the same. You'll be much better. You'll be transformed entirely. I'm glad you took the decision to join this group. And for some of you who have been um, uncomfortable because you do not know if you can do this and at the same time still fulfill the cardinal program of the community development, you heard what... Um, um, the dean said they have community development embedded in the coursework and in fact i had a meeting with the zonal inspector of in charge of this zone yesterday and um, we are planning to have this group this a cds center in this group yes yes my name is adisoya imano babachidi I majored in mechanical engineering, graduated from the Federal University of Technology in Nemo State. I joined MPL from an invitation I got over there in the camp in activics training. It was an incentive, or it was, let me say it's an invitation that I sought greatness. So I picked it up, and so far in the course of the training, it has been fantastic. And above all, I like to tell myself this. If I'm to do anything in life and it doesn't pattern with my visions and be planned purpose, then it's defeated. So in five years' time, I want to be a leader, I want to be a major technical artist in my field. I just don't want to be an employee, I want to be an employer of labor. I want to become fulfilled and with all my previous skills and dreams and plans, I want to actually make sure that I've achieved over 65% of them. 
Hi, my name is Olushola Amuson. I'm the Citizenship Manager at Microsoft Nigeria. Uh, Microsoft's interest in the Marketplace Readiness Program is uh, connected to our commitment to uh, employability and entrepreneurship in Africa. Our goal is to um, empower every individual and organization on the planet to achieve more and uh, our citizenship initiatives are connected to helping to fight the menace of unemployment in Africa by creating platforms for employability and entrepreneurship. So we have a strong interest in the Marketplace Readiness Program simply because we want to see more young people being able to fill the skill gap and position themselves for the workplace as well as um, help themselves to be able to realize the tools that are necessary to start their own businesses. Essentially, we want to prepare more young people to become the champion of their dreams. Okay, and what we expect at the end of the day, Microsoft expects to see um, the people who participate in this marketplace readiness program become equipped with skills, soft skills and Microsoft competencies, competencies, soft skills and Microsoft competencies that can make them better than their colleagues and um, grant them a competitive edge in the workplace, either as paid employees or has um, uh, entrepreneurs who are starting their own businesses. Okay, so we do hope that at least 30 out of these 50 people who are in this pilot program will be placed in jobs at the end of this program on or before the end of this program and not less than 15 to 20 out of them also will be able to, will be able to start their own businesses and become job creators. Microsoft Nigeria Limited incorporated within the larger Middle East and Africa group of Microsoft International, as you may already know, is a leading software devices and services company with a mission to empower every individual and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Through the expansion of our youth works activity, Microsoft is part of a greater Arab and African youth employability movement to help young people develop and succeed throughout their education and working lives. We are committed to supporting the growth of the young people across Nigeria and contributing to the local economy. And we do this by investing in teaching, training activities that provide the young people the opportunity to acquire a more balanced set of skills um, in today's competitive environment. We realize that the unemployment numbers, as reported by several organizations who are in charge of reporting numbers like that, Al Jazeera, for example, um, uh, as observed, and Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria, um, has close to 80% uh, youth unemployment rate. Okay, so we do calculation for unemployment generally, but focusing on youth unemployment, Al Jazeera, for example, says that our rate is so high, and that is abysmally high. It's very, very, it's, it's, it's just a dismal, dismal, like Honorable Patrick would like to say, you know. So, <laughs> You know, with, with almost 200 million people between the age of 15 and 24, representing 60% of Africa's entire population, the African Economic Outlook gives that report that there is a tremendous potential to transform the developing economies across this Middle East and Africa region into leading sources of talent in the global market. And we have identified that the best place to um, connect with this program would be during the National Youth Service uh, um, Corps program. And that's why we're partnering with Fifth Care Plus with Fifth Gear Limited, Fifth Gear Plus, and um, the ecosystem of partners to be able to create this, first of all, as a pilot program, and eventually turn it into something that will consistently churn out empowered young Nigerians, or will be positioned not just for um, a workforce to work at, in paid employment, but also be positioned, depending on their giftings and talents, to become entrepreneurs who can even become job providers most impressive young people out of this program um, will be connected through our employability platform Aiki and also placed of, uh, on the priority list by our partner Jobberman for, for job placement. So we are hoping that before the end of this program at least 35 of these people will be able to at least have a ch chance of first refusal in top positions across the country. Also we are, we are highly expectant we are highly expectant that not less than 15 out of this core members 
will uh, be raised and mentored by Microsoft employees through the Microsoft Build Your Business curriculum to start their own business, and they will be connected with um, every support that we can announce through our For Africa program, which is a funding program that gets across to people who are innovative, who um, have the um, um, idea of building their own businesses. My name is Tinokemi Olawe, and uh, I'm the dean of the Marketplace Readiness Program. I also facilitate at the program, and um, I'd just like to share very quickly about why we think this is a very important program. Why we think it's time for young people to cash in and be a part of this program, and for those who can't even be a part of it because they're not youth core members, how they can support us to carry this vision and make it a huge reality. The Marketplace Readiness Program is a five month intensive coaching, training, and mentoring program for youth core members. We believe that these, these people are the leaders of the next generation. The marketplace is crying for leaders who change the game of how things are done, either in the, in the employment scene or in the entrepreneurial scene. And we see that a lot of these young people are not equipped. Many of them just want to jump up. They don't want to grow up. They want to become big and lofty things, but they don't know how to do it. And that is why this program has been created, to fill in the gap that has been left by educational institutions and even family institutions. My name is Maureen Yassel. I'm the founder of the Job Max Center. We are a capacity building firm with a strong undertone for youth development. Right now, I am at the Fifth Gear Plus Learning Center, um, run by a mentor of mine, Nia Desanya. Um, we're working on the Marketplace Readiness Program. I'll be, I've just finished facilitating today. This is a very, very important training that needs to happen because we find out that a lot of young people, they, they graduate and they come out of school without a career map. Um, basically, they need to understand that, you know, life is a journey and with, with every journey, it must be planned. And if your career basically takes up a lot of your, um, your time, then that should equally be planned. It was a very, very interesting session. It was very, very engaging. And I think the whole program as a whole, the whole marketplace program as a whole is a very laudable initiative. This is a program that I think should carry on um, and we want to commend all the partners and everybody that is involved that is supporting the initiative. You'll be surprised how, how, um, how the young people are being receptive to the program and how much they have learned and how they're now inspired to do greater things and to impact and to also give back or pay it forward as it were. Um, this is a, an initiative that should be supported. This is an initiative that should um, carry on. Um, I wish the organizers the very best and I hope to see them again in future. Marketplace readiness, equipping tomorrow's game changers.